We were supposed to be in Omaha. This was the College World Series. This was going to be a big celebration. And yet, it is for the kids and it's not for the sport. Can you tell us, given the counter proposals, what's next for you and the Major League Baseball Players Association? Yes, Carl, we're going to be uh, making a responsive proposal to the proposal that we received late last night. Um, it will be another significant move in the players' direction in terms of the salary issue that has kept us apart. And we're hopeful that it will produce reciprocal movement from the Players Association that will see a number other than 100 percent on salary and some recognition that 89 games, given where we are in the calendar in the course of the pandemic, is not realistic. So 89 game season, full prorated salary for the players. It feels like the players are sticking to 100 percent. And you have said I can mandate a 48 50 game schedule. Uh, do you not believe that the two sides are that's where we're at and we have to move towards the middle or we have to operate from that? I'm a big believer um, in the process. Um, I would prefer to negotiate a new agreement with, with the MLBPA that gets us more games and resolves um, the issues that have separated us amicably. Uh, but at the end of the day, we negotiated for the right in March to start the season on a number of games um, that, that we select in these particular circumstances. And if we have to, we'll exercise that right. There was a March 26th agreement. From the agreement to where we are today, can you explain, in your opinion, how we got here? Well, I, I think that, um, you know, the March 26th agreement was premised on the belief, mutual belief, um, that we were going to be in a position where we would be playing baseball games in full stadiums. And I think um, that we find ourselves in a situation where we're going to be playing largely without fans, if not exclusively without fans. And that altered the economic landscape and really required another negotiation. For baseball fans, and I hear this all the time, and I'm sure you do, uh, there seems to be a tone deafness between your group and the players about what's going on in the present, as opposed to a collective bargaining agreement. This is different. Is there recognition, do you think, between the two sides that this is different? You know, I can't speak for the Players Association. I can tell you unequivocally uh, that the owners understand this is different, that they're listening to what their fans saying and that they are listening to what the players are saying and they're continuing to make proposals um, as a result of the input that they're receiving from those sources. How will you feel if and when this time comes? We're playing 48 games, boys, and let's get ready to go. How will you feel if that's the end result of this? I'll be disappointed that we're unable to reach an agreement that allows us to play more games. Um, but you know what? I think at the end of the day, the most important thing, and I'm not buying into your number of 48, the most important thing is that we play Major League Baseball in 2020, and I can tell you unequivocally we are going to play Major League Baseball this year. Well, I'll be honest. My number would be 60 to 70 games, and you pay a full prorated salary, and we get back to the game of baseball. Why wouldn't that be acceptable? You know, Carl, I'm not going to get into um, bargaining with you about issues with the Players Association. We'll make another proposal to them uh, that's consistent with the economic realities that we're looking at, including the fact that um, our, our revenues are going to be down over 70 percent. And hopefully um, we'll find some flexibility on the other side and make an agreement. I've heard September 27th. We want to end the regular season there, hear about expanded playoffs. When are you going to have your back up against the wall? What's the date where you have to say 48, 50, whatever that number is in your mind? When is that date? I don't want to commit to um, a, a, a particular date when we have to go down that path. I will tell you this. Each and every day that goes by, we lose the capacity to play at least one game. And um, that's really the time pressure that's significant at this point in time. You've been a significant player in all of these recent negotiations. What has that taught you about how you see this resolving itself? Look, I think you need to commit to the process. We're committed to the process. Um, I try not to um, be judgmental about the proposals that the other side makes. I try to respond and always try to move in the direction of the other side uh, and let the process work. We're going to continue to do that. And lastly, the percent of a chance we're playing Major League Baseball this year? 100%.
Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.